In this topic and the subsequent ones, we are going to discuss about international training and development. Uh, you know that training and development is a very important aspect of human resource management, and it is targeted towards improving, uh, uh, improving the skills, abilities, and uh, knowledge of uh, human resource which is currently employed with the organization and uh, in, uh, to achieve the current human resource needs as well as the future human resource needs of the organization. So when uh, we talk about international training, uh, international training is a, uh, is a complex uh, system of training and development in which uh, the organization wants to develop an international pool of uh, skills, abilities, and knowledge. Uh, it wants to develop an international human capital in its organization. And therefore, it is something which includes many more activities than domestic training and development includes. So let's take a look. Uh, that what is international training and development and what are its uh, various different features. Uh, one very important aspect of international training and development is that international assignments themselves, they are a tool for training. How? Let's take a look. International assignments are a tool for training and development. Um, how, number one, expatriates, they are trainers themselves. Expatriates, uh, we have discussed it in previous chapters, in previous topics, that uh, people from the parent country, from the headquarter, are sent to the host country to transfer knowledge, skills, and abilities. Uh, knowledge, skills, and abilities which are not available are not present in the host country, they are fulfilled by people coming from the parent country. So, the uh, multinational hai, wo apne headquarters se logon ko host country mein bhejte hain taake wo host country ke logon ko sikha sake. So, basically, expatriates ka ek major role jo hai, wo trainers ka role hota hai. Wo apni skills or abilities jo hai, wo host country nationals mein transfer karte hain. So, this is a part of knowledge and competence transfer process and they are expected to help train and develop host country nationals so that host country nationals are able to they are able to run the business independently so this is one aspect how international assignment itself is a training and development tool so when you send people from your parent country to the host country uh, you are actually transferring the skills, abilities, and knowledge to the people who are in the host country and do not have those particular skills, abilities, and knowledge. Uh, then uh, international assignments are a tool for training and development because expatriates ensure adoption. Uh, why you send expatriates uh, to host country uh, locations? You send them so that uh, host country systems, host country uh, nationals, as well as, as well as the organization, they can adopt the systems and processes, how things are done. So you send people, you send expatriates to establish the systems for the multinational uh, subsidiary. Uh, so they, and, and the host country uh, nationals, they are supposed to adopt those systems which expatriates are supposed to establish in that particular location. And then they monitor the host country national's performance according to the systems that they have set, according to the organizational structure that they have made, the systems that they have set, the rules and regulations that they have established, the machinery and processes that they have established, they make sure that things, they are done according to the systems that they have established. So uh, um, when they do that, they are actually training and developing staff in the host country national. 
Uh, then another aspect of uh, the fact that international assignments are training and development tool is that expatriates, they are management under development. So uh, when expatriates, they are sent for, uh, even if they are sent for filling a position and not for anything else, they get an exposure of different type. So this type of job rotation that leads to a broader perspective. They are able to look at things in a broader perspective. They can understand various different cultural aspects. They can understand that only one way of doing thing is not correct. People in different parts of the world, different locations, they may be doing things in different ways. And uh, every way has got its own uh, uh, advantages and disadvantages. So this is something which enhances their perspective and therefore develops them as individuals. And therefore, the expatriates which are sent to international assignments, they become global operators and therefore an international pool of global operators is developed through this um, system of international assignments. So international assignment, giving people international assignments is itself a training and development um, tool. Now let's take a look uh, at the process of international training and development. Uh, so you would maybe remembering from the previous topics that recruitment and selection is uh, done for international assignments. Many times the recruitment is done it is in-house recruitment, but sometimes external recruitment also takes place. So that is why you can see the dotted lines between the international team and the recruitment and selection box. So it is possible that internal selection has taken place and already a person who is working in an international team is selected for an international assignment. But many times uh, the external recruitment is also done. Uh, so after recruitment and selection, the next step is training. And in training, the first aspect of training for international assignment is pre-departure training. And pre-departure training is something which, is, which happens before the international assignment starts. So you can see that the next box which follows the pre-departure training is international assignment itself. And then the international assignments, uh, they actually play a dual role, they are used to develop people and then development also happens through international assignments. And this training and development process, it combines together to build an international team of global operators which have a global vision and they are people who can ideally think globally and act locally. So this is the basic objective and this is the basic process of international training and development process.